Good morning, good morning everybody. Well, I have something to show you guys. As you guys know, I'm a car fan. And uh, I woke up here this morning going around doing my pre-trip. Doing my pre-trip. And guess what? There's a guy parked behind, beside me with a Ferrari. I mean, just take a look at that baby. I mean, I've never seen a Ferrari this close, so I'm kind of like heart pumping. <laughs> that is just amazing. Look at that. I just got to show you guys this. I mean, if you guys are a big car fanatic like me, I mean, we got to we got to show this, right? Let's look at underneath. Wow, is that low off the ground? I mean, that is just looks like it's random for a little bit but my goodness I think the driver is still sleeping so <laughs> look at that that is low off the ground man wow it's got some kind of air intake over here yeah no he's getting out or something so anyway so we'll uh, we'll continue our pre-trip and then uh, We'll be back in a minute. We are back on the road, yeah! That's for sure. We're just going through Barrie, Ontario right now. Yeah! Which is a little bit over 100 kilometers from Mississauga. Yep. Fairly big town up here as well, but we're just gonna go right through it. Looks like a gorgeous day this morning. It was a little bit foggy there still when I woke up, but uh, you know, by the time I was done doing my logbook and all that, doing my pre trip, uh, the fog had dissipated. It was good. The sun has come up, and we are good to go. We got ourselves a long day today and tomorrow. We have to uh, put in two full days pretty much today and tomorrow in order to make it to Winnipeg tomorrow night. Because we got to deliver on the third. Starting in the morning, we got three drops. So we'll be done by. Uh, Wednesday afternoon? No? No, that's Thursday actually. Thursday afternoon, yeah. We'll be done Thursday afternoon. Yeah. So we'll see what we'll do from there. Yeah. I might just continue on. I think I'll have plenty enough hours so here we go guys we are in North Bay Ontario right now we got a big hill up ahead of us to climb it's usually a fairly big uh, big hill up here usually it takes all the juice out of my truck that I have to climb this hill you know well, we got to climb it. Speed warning. What's it say? Three points on... Well, now it's switched over to French, so... Can't read it when it's French, but... Anyways... It's a pretty steep hill that we got to climb here. Got a Petra truck stop just up ahead of here, uh, just to the right. And I think I might just pull it there. Reduced to head. Give me a bite to eat. Yeah. I'm starting to get hungry. Alrighty guys, we are coming into New Liskard, Ontario that is. Yeah, I didn't make a pit stop up there in uh, North Bay like I was planning on doing, but yeah, I decided to heck with it. I'm just gonna continue on. Didn't really have that much of a need to stop in there, so. Here we are and coming into New Lisker. And this time we are going to make a pit stop. I mean, I've been driving for like four and a half hours. 
you know already got like 300 440 kilometers in so that's probably more like four and three quarter hour driving probably <laughs> but anyways i haven't looked at the log book and everything but we are definitely due for a pit stop mystery bob not sure exactly where we're gonna pull in but we're gonna pull in somewhere that's right so let's go in there somewhere and uh, I'm getting hungry me a bite tea. here we go guys we have just had our pit stop here in New Liskeard, Ontario now it's time to get back on the road and put the hammer down the plan is to make it up to Long Lake tonight which is a long way from here yet that for sure is looks like they put new Asheville down over here the new Liskert I haven't put the new stripes down yet, but put new asphalt down. Yeah. Yeah. We still have 833 kilometers up to Nipigon, and I think it's like 200 kilometers less, so we have like 633 kilometers to go yet. So that's like six, uh, six and three quarter hours driving, roughly. Because up here in Canada, we got a lot of stoplights, a lot of s small towns that we got to go through. We got to slow down. Plus the speed limit is only 90 uh, kilometers an hour up here. So that's actually only uh, about 50. 53 or something like that. That's what the speed limit is up here miles an hour So yeah, but that's all right. It's at least a gorgeous day out here it's a little bit warm But hey, it is September 1st That's right so We ain't gonna have the warm nice days much longer now on it's just gonna cool down oh well mm, that's the way it goes anyways let's have ourselves an awesome rest of the day and uh, thank you guys for joining me today on today's vlog well guys the highway 11 got shut down so we got a detour to take and this is the kind of things that you will see when uh, when we have to take a detour just have a look at this bridge man holy smokes you better know what you're doing to <laughs> get between these bridges here oh wow I'm keeping a close eye on this bridge man oh wow I got about five inches on either side of the tire I'm hitting that rail there on the side whoa now that was an experience and uh, 42 north side might be familiar with this road it's highway 572 yeah it takes us over to 101 and I don't know what went on there with the highway 11 but they had a cop up there and the highway was shut down so we gotta take the detour that's right now we're on a little narrow stretch of highway and <laughs> here we go it's fairly hilly too so we're just giving her <laughs> that feels pretty good actually <laughs> trucks coming here uh, in a minute uh, just up ahead of us there's a bunch of trucks and traffic coming this way so 
Yeah, about another three kilometers, two miles, we should be uh, back out to one the one. Probably talking on a different channel. I got my CB radio on there just listening to the guys if they're talking, see what's going on, you know. I guess uh, the town just on the other side of that bridge is going to get a lot of traffic today. <laughs> They're probably wondering what the heck is going on today. Eh? A lot of trucks coming through, and a lot of cars. Anyways, we'll go see if we can get our way back onto Highway 11. And get back on the big road. Well, big road. They never have big road up here in Ontario, especially in the northern parts, you know. Whatever you want to call it, Highway 11. <laughs> But anyways, I figured I had to show you guys that little bridge there. That was quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We are just about to hit Highway 11, I think. I think we're not too far away. Just gotta go through this little town up here. GPS still telling me to make a U-turn. but <laughs> We're just about to hit Highway 11. I can see all the cops up there blocking Highway 11 up there. See all the flashing lights up there. Looks like Christmas. Christmas has come early. Yeah. I'm still kind of curious to on um, what's going on, you know. But got the highway shut down, so it must be something. Probably an accident or something. Oh, this railway ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> This railway track is terrible. Oh yeah. He's gonna go, that truck driver is gonna go talk to the police officer and see which way he's gotta go. Yep. That's right. Yeah, I don't really know either what happened, but something is definitely happening, that's for sure. But, voila! Here we are, back on IV-11. Yeah! Well, guys, we are coming into a town, I believe. Let me check it, but I believe it's Captus Casing. Yeah, that's it! This is Captas Casing. This is the Shell slash Flying J truck stop here to the right. And I had a special request a while back ago from a YouTuber or subscriber, I meant to say. And I try to remember these things, you know. I did get a request to show Captas Casing. And here we are, going through Captas Casing. I don't know if I can actually pronounce it right. Speed limit, reduced But it's on ahead. Highway 11. And uh, Ontario. And the uh, subscriber of mine said that he had relatives living up here in Captas Casing. And he wanted me to show Captas Casing a little bit. See, that's where we got the Walmart, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Got a bison truck parked in there. Yeah, it's just the start of uh, Captas Casing, so we don't have a lot of stuff here until a little bit a mile down the road and uh, you get a little bit more. See, this is where the town actually begins. Yeah, this is, uh, well, the town I guess begins back there already, but uh, this is more like downtown. Uh, in Captas Casing, Ontario. Yeah, we got a little bit of a McDonald's here to the right. And a Chevrolet dealership here. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of stuff up here, but they certainly do have a little bit of businesses going on. But, uh, anyways, I really do hope that you will enjoy uh, See Captas Casing a little bit. Oh, there's a restaurant right there. We got Comfort Inn right over here. And we got, oh, we just turned green here, so should be able to go. 
Yeah, so we got the hotel over here. So if you come and visit up this uh, up to this town, I guess you could stay at the hotel if the relatives don't want to give you room in their and their house, I guess. But uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, captive casing, that's for sure. A little bit of a tire shop, it looks like. Ice cream store, yeah, you can come and have a nice ice cream. That's right. Looks like they got some boats up here. Oh, these guys must be renting or selling boats up here. Oh yeah, it looks like a dealership up there, yeah. But I do believe we got a river up there. I'm not 100% sure, maybe not. But I think that, yeah, I think that is. Over there, it's the big planter uh, where they got the, the hydro dam or whatever you want to call it. Yep, look at that. There's a bear up there. Just a memorial <laughs> or something. Whatever you want to call that. But yeah, this is the next stretch of Captas casing. It seems like they're like in three sections or whatever. We got one section and oh man, now we got to stop. Oh boy. All right. Uh, to make a quick stop these darn lights you know they change in a, in a heartbeat anyways here we go the light finally changed yeah so even in a Volvo dealer up here wow a Mac Volvo dealer I don't see any semi trucks though must just be a little bit of a parts dealer I guess but even a Timmy's as trucker Josh would say Tim Hortons yeah you can even get a Tim Hortons cup of coffee, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is where the dam is. That's what I thought there was, you yeah? know? I'm gonna get to see that here right away. Just a little bit further. Well, yeah, there's the dam on the left side a little bit. I think they got a bigger one up here. I think so. Yeah, that's it. Right there to the to the right there, that's where a big fall is. Where the water drops uh not too bad, you know, I've seen bigger ones than that, but water certainly does drop a little bit, so anyways, we uh, uh, got a phone call from my cousin there earlier and he said he was the uh, fifth truck driver behind the accident there that's the reason why the uh, highway 11 was shut down and he said what happened was uh, a semi truck tried to cross the highway and I guess he didn't see the other semi truck coming or something like that and he said another semi uh, truck t-boned him right there you know and so that's why highway 11 was shut down he said he had to back up quite a ways then and then uh, turn around and, and come down the other road that we was on too but he said that was a little bit of a hard thing to do to turn around over there you know because the IV-11 is fairly narrow so it's kind of hard to turn around he said but he finally managed to do it so, so yeah so now we know what happened and with that that's it that's Captas Casing for you. Here we go, guys. We are driving at night. I know some of you might not like it too much, but hey, we gotta drive at night sometimes. And Trucker Jukebox made a request the other day. He said whenever I drive at night, he would like to see some footage of me driving at night. Yeah, so here we are. Got my spotlights, my beams, everything on right now. And just for you guys that like it to see a little bit of night driving. I am still on Highway 11. Yeah, probably about half an hour away from Long Lake, Ontario. That's where we're going to be spending the night at. And just figured I'd uh, give you guys a little bit of a night shot. Since I haven't done that in an extremely long time, figured why not, you know, give you guys a little bit of, that's my spotlights, you know, just give you guys a little bit of a night driving video, you know, I like to change it up every once in a while, just to kind of make it interesting for you guys, yeah, why not, right? And for all of those subscribers that are new to my channel, well, 
we are generally about seven days behind in our videos so if you're watching this this happened seven days ago yeah every once in a while I'll throw up a little video just a little short video or something like that that might be life or like happened that day or whatever but uh, other than that we are seven days behind and the reason I'm doing that is because uh, it takes some time to, to put the, it takes a little bit of time to put the video together and uh, so that way you know sometimes I get home and then I can have uh, I can do that when I'm at home and uh, also then I can use the internet at home or whatever you know and uh, sometimes uh, like for me in Ontario or in Canada for a fact I don't really have any other internet than except for my phone which I can hook up to my laptop but I only have a limited internet on my phone but when I go to the United States I have a Sprint Wi-Fi system up there and uh, I can use uh, 60 gigabytes up there so that usually works out pretty good that gives me usually plenty enough room to uh, upload my videos but uh, anyways, uh, I'm not in the United States all the time, so I drive in Canada sometimes. That's my home country, so, well, yeah, I live, I live in Steinbach, Manitoba, but uh, originally I am from South America. I was born in Bolivia, and I grew up in Paraguay, so, so there you have it. A little bit of night driving for it. Those of you that might like it, some of you might hate me for it, but I don't care. I like to show a little different every once in a while and here it is so we'll see you guys a little bit later we are done for today yeah we have made it to Long Lake Ontario that is yeah we are excited because we're gonna go hit the bed here very very soon I am tired we had a long day about 1100 kilometers for today so that's it we got a thousand to go tomorrow yeah that's a long way I know tell me about it anyways so we're gonna hit the sack and we will be sure to see you guys tomorrow so thanks for watching and be sure to stick around for tomorrow because you never know what could happen and if you are new to this channel we would love to have you on board by subscribing to our channel because you will get notified when you hit that little bell there on your app and uh, hey be sure to watch later <laughs>